Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I'm reviewing the Microsoft Surface Laptop 7th Gen. And in this video, I'll refer to this as the Surface Laptop 2024 because the generation count is quite confusing to me. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit on loan from Microsoft Singapore. And they recently contacted me to ask if I wanted to review the Surface Laptop. And I asked them if they have the Surface Pro and they said not yet. So I'll review the Surface Pro when they have that in stock here in Singapore. But first, let's look at the Surface Laptop. This review is from the perspective of a visual content creator. I do graphic design, draw, edits, photos and videos. And the most important thing you need to know about this laptop is this is not a gaming laptop and this is not a video editing laptop. This review unit comes with the Snapdragon X Elite processor with 12 cores, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. And shown on the screen right now are the retail prices for the 13.8 inch and 15 inch models here in Singapore. Now the US pricing in my opinion is actually much better. The Surface Laptop 2024 is now using the Snapdragon X Plus or X Elite processor so it's no longer using the Intel processor. So during this Intel to ARM transitional period, not all graphic design apps can run natively yet. So for example, with the Adobe apps, Adobe Photoshop is available for installation, but Adobe Illustrator is not. Adobe Premiere Pro is the 2023 version, it's not the current 2024 version, and there is no After Effects. Lightroom is Lightroom Cloud, it's not classic Lightroom. There is Adobe Fresco and you can draw with Adobe Fresco. However, the touch screen on this laptop no longer supports the Microsoft Surface Pen. The Affinity Photo publisher and designer have been updated to run on ARM. Krita, Clip Studio, Medibank Paint are still the X64 version. X64 just means the apps are designed for Intel processors. So for the X64 apps such as Krita, Medibank Paint and Clip Studio, they have to run through emulation and from what I can see, the performance is actually pretty smooth. However, when I tested some drivers from Huion, a company that makes pen tablets and pen displays, uh, certain apps couldn't work with the pen. When I drew with the Huion pen tablet, the cursor would stop working and start working again and this would happen several times. So. I believe the Huion driver is not ARM compatible yet. I do not have the pen tablets from Wacom, XP Pen or other companies to test so I cannot tell you whether their drivers or pens will work on this laptop with the Snapdragon processor. The main takeaway here is if you do not know whether the app you are using is available for ARM or whether the app can work well with emulation then I don't think it's worth taking the risk of buying this laptop first to test only to find out that the app or the software that you're using is actually not compatible with the Snapdragon processor. So right now I'm not sure if I can recommend this laptop for graphic design purposes unless you know for sure that the app you are using can work well. So if you use Affinity apps then those apps work fine on this laptop but if you have to use um, pen tablets or pen displays from Wacom, Puyon, XP Pen, I would recommend you do some research on compatibility first. So if you are a graphic designer, artist or visual content creator, those are some of the downsides, deal breakers or limitations you should be aware of. Now having said all that, as a non-gaming laptop, the Surface Laptop 2024 is fantastic so if you are using the laptop for checking emails or doing work through web browsers or watching videos or just general computing this laptop has excellent performance 
and the battery life has increased significantly so you can get 15 hours of usable battery life easily with the display at 50% brightness this is the battery drain from overnight sleep from 1 a.m. to 11 a.m. 10 hours 0% 50% brightness for this display is more than bright enough for use in a bright room environment and right now I'm recording this review outdoors so I have the display brightness at 100% and this is definitely bright enough for use outdoors as long as you are seated under the shade the main downside for this display is it is very reflective which is what I do not like so Microsoft definitely should have added some anti-reflective coating on the display which is going to be a huge selling point so the display here is 13.8 inches and the resolution is 2304 by 1536 if I remember correctly. So all the visuals are sharp. If you need a larger display, you can go with the 15 inch. But personally for me, I do prefer the 13.8 inch, which is more portable. And this aspect ratio is about three by two, if I remember correctly. And I like this aspect ratio because given the fixed width you actually get more vertical space to work with design of this laptop is quite beautiful and this is the bronze like color that microsoft sent over and there are other options you can choose so the build quality is solid because everything is made with metal and because it's metal this is kind of heavy as well but that's the compromise for having solid build quality so on the back there are four rubber feet and the laptop is quite thin on this side there is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack USB A with fast transfer speed to Thunderbolt 4 USB C ports on the other side there is one Microsoft Surface Connect port which can be used with the included charger now this is not as useful compared to a USB C port this I would say is the direct competitor to the Apple MacBook Air in terms of look and feel and construction quality. The keyboard is nice to type on and has backlight. The touchpad is big and haptic works well. Oh, this laptop has several AI features and there is a dedicated button for the Microsoft Copilot AI feature. But I did not test the AI features because I don't use them, so I cannot say much about them. This clean and simple design looks really good. I love the rounded corners, the edges are beveled, even the corners for the LCD is rounded. Bezels are quite thin, thinner at the sides, but thicker at the top and bottom. There is Windows Hello Face Unlock, which works fast and effectively. Even though this laptop is not a gaming laptop, it can be used to play some games as long as the game is compatible with the Snapdragon processor. I tested this laptop with Hades 2 which is a hack and slash dungeon crawling game and it works fine. But I have watched a video from Linus Tech Tips and many of the games that they tried to play or install just could not work. Alright, to conclude, this is a really good general purpose laptop as long as the apps you need to use can run properly with the Snapdragon processor. If you have to use specific apps, I would highly recommend you do some research on that app's compatibility with ARM or the Snapdragon processor because as mentioned earlier, you do not want to buy a new laptop only to find out that the app you need to use does not work properly. So overall, this to me is a really good laptop. But just bear in mind the uh, limitations during this transitional period from Intel to ARM. Oh, before you go, if you guys have the intention to buy this laptop, consider using the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below to make your purchase. I do get to earn some money for each sale, but at no extra cost to you and your support basically helps me put out more reviews like this. See you guys in the next video. Bye!